Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about what we do with our young fig trees, how we get them to the right size in their first year. What is our objective? What are our goals? What are the methods and techniques that I'm using? And usually when you first start out, you got yourself something like this. It's a one gallon size pot. You know, either it's like six inches by six inches. This is four inches by nine. You got yourself something like this. You can see this one actually already has a fig on it. You got a decent amount of healthy leaves. You also have a stem that's pretty lignified. It's been growing for quite some time. And actually I'm selling this tree. This is my Black Madeira KK or one of my Black Madeira KKs that I'm selling this Sunday. So July 21st, the auction on FigBid will end. Um, so if you guys are interested in buying some trees, we have a lot of them here that we've been propagating over the winter time and they will be sold as they get the right size but once they are the right size then we can and what i would recommend is putting them in the largest pot you possibly can and for me it's only a five gallon size pot um, now if i could put them in a 10 i would minimum you know when it's all said and done i want all of my fig trees that are more mature they should be in at least a 10 gallon size pot so this is only temporary and the only reason I have them at this size is because I'm out of space. But I would, however, in the ideal scenarios, I would put these container figs, all these young trees in a larger size pot, um, at least a 10, like I said. The next step is to really focus on training them and training them is pretty simple. We want them as a single stem tree. As a container, as an in-ground plant, having them as a single stem tree is going to yield you more production. Now we can't always do that, right? Like our in-ground trees here in a colder climate, they're just gonna naturally bush out. It's almost impossible to keep them as a tree, but I think having one single stem for all that sap flow to go up, you know, this really helps focus that sap flow, which, is, which can be pretty limited in one trunk, one tree, it just seems to make a lot more sense. The energy works out. The nice balance between what's on top and what's on bottom really seems to work out in these containers when they have one single stem. Now you can choose the height in which you want these things to start branching out at. You can see on this one, it starts branching out at about a foot, a foot and a half, and that's good with me. You know, I don't mind having them even branch out somewhere around two feet three feet but the taller we get the more our branching is up higher the more i have to worry about storage and how high my storage situation is so for me i think i like to train them or let the branching form at a lower point somewhere around a foot i think is probably for me the best scenario again it doesn't really matter it just depends on you know make sure you have it as a single stem plant and also you're worrying about storage. The next most, most important concern here is food. And for these young trees, the fruit quality is really not going to be optimal. I mean, it, you can get some really high quality fruit as I've had in the past. You can see these are some air layers we took off of our mother tree last year. These are some Smith right here. Another Smith that's branched out really nicely. But for the most part, Again, the fruit quality is not gonna be there exactly. And the reason for that is because we tend to overwater and our younger trees tend to just suck up a lot more water as the season goes. The more water we give to these figs, the more they're gonna grow, but the lower the fruit quality will be. So, you know, there's a nice little trade off there and something you have to decide in your own mind. Now for me, I'm letting them fruit. I'm not in this to grow leaves. I'm in this to grow fruit and that's, my own personal preference. Ideally, you don't let it fruit, right? It's in a container, you're gonna protect it from the cold. You could just let it grow and grow and grow with almost no repercussions because you're gonna protect it from the cold. But, you know, something like this as an example, here's a variety that I've never tried. I decided to pinch it because I wanna see what the fruit looks like. I wanna see what the deal is on this variety. I also have fruit forming on this variety. It may just be a bit too late even though we didn't pinch this one, the fruit would eventually form. Probably not in time before our frost, but that's my objective here is to get fruit. And if I can get fruit, I'm gonna be a lot more happier. You know, on a variety here, like let's say this one, this is Aishia Black UC Davis. You can see actually the new leaves are pretty healthy, 
But for the most part, it's extremely small. It's not doing a whole lot. If this one were to put out figs, I would probably say no because of how delicate it is, how fragile it is. You have to really understand your tree. You know, this is a Smith air layer here that could definitely support a lot more fruit. What is striking to me is that some of these plants actually look a bit pale. The leaves look a bit pale, even though I've been feeding them quite heavily. You can see here's an Azores dark. This is an air layer that we had um, we, took, we took this off last fall, and you can see how much fruit is on this thing. It's insane, and how quickly this fruit ripens. It's also insane, um, but this one's quite dark, really dark leaves. I know Smith has a bit of an issue. It usually has a more pale leaf, but this is a sign of nutrient deficiency for sure. So because they're young air layers, they're young trees, they're not gonna uptake the nutrients that they want. But also it's a good idea if you're having this situation and you're feeding your trees regularly, which you should be, these young trees I think should get more food than trees that are fruiting. Why? Because more fertilizer is gonna prevent a lot of these trees uh, from actually fruiting. So we wanna have less fertilizer if we're focusing on fruiting, more fertilizer if we're focusing on growth. It's all about that nitrogen. Finding that right balance of nitrogen is really gonna be key, but for these particular plants, they don't look really that healthy. And I wonder if the soil has a lot to do with it. Sometimes my potting soil cannot be broken down well enough. And if it's not broken down well enough, you have these larger pieces in it. A lot of that nitrogen is gonna be sucked out away from the plant because it's breaking down those larger pieces. And as a result, you have an issue uh, getting the plant the nutrients it deserves. But you can see other plants over here, like my Azores Dark, this one's growing really well. We actually have it as a single stem down at the base, but it's branching out at a really low point. And that's not something that I like to do. However, I am gonna try to take as many cuttings probably off of this particular tree. And then next year have this as a single stem plant. Or what I could do is put an air layer on very soon here and air layer it down here and have myself a whole separate tree. The whole idea of these trees is to get them to a large size, but also to have many copies of these particular varieties. You know, things like Smith. Here's another Smith right here. Also with the paler leaves, surprisingly. Here we have a variety called Campaneri, which is doing quite well as a graft. In fact, we pinched it. It has a fruit back in here, but we pinched it to get more fruit because I wanna have as many fruits off of that variety as possible now to determine just how good it is. Here's another Smith that looks a lot more healthy. So quite a big difference there. Here's another Aishia Black. And then again, um, this is a Smith graft right here. We have two different grafts. One is Smith and one is Campaneri. Both again doing quite well and actually growing really well um, and then we have another Azores Dark, and you can see again just how vigorous, well, not really vigorous, but it just puts out a lot of fruit. It's very precocious at a young age. Um, and this one's trained as a single stem exactly the way that it should be. And you can see up in here, we pinched this branch to then get some further fruits along this one. So, you know, I'm not really concerned. And, and these young trees here that were in one gallon size pots in the beginning of the season, a lot of these have these branching that comes out in two different directions. I would rather have the branching stay just for now. That's gonna get us more photosynthesis this way, probably a larger plant quicker. But inevitably, some point this fall, this is gonna come off and this is only gonna be a single stem plant. You know, this is uh, not something I wanna do from the start. However, if it's already branching out like this, Rather than cut off one of these young branches, you know, I'd rather have this young tree use these leaves as extra photosynthesis to hopefully get to a larger size by this, uh, this fall. And what we could also do, if we really don't want, um, you know, both of these branches to grow, which is definitely not what we want to do, is that we could come in here and pinch one of these branches and then keep pinching it. And, really stop that growth from forming from this point on. And then this branch over here will just continue to get larger and that will have all that auxin 
which then suppresses the lower growth down here. And we really won't even have to worry about this branch probably late in the fall or you know, early in the fall. Um, so that's one strategy and that is probably actually what I'm gonna do rather than um, snipping it off come fall. I'm gonna probably just suppress one of these branches from doing anything. Once this thing really starts to get going, you can kind of tell it's already, it, this one here is almost there with this leaf. While it doesn't look the healthiest, it does look pretty vigorous and strong. Once the leaves start to get really big sizes to them, now you know, okay, well, the tree's really starting to do something here and uh, we should be all right. So that was kind of training your trees in containers here, your fig trees 101. Uh, the objective here again is to get them to this size, single stem plant, branching at a certain height. And then what I'm gonna do, cause the branching on this one's so long and so lanky, we're gonna have to come back and bring this down to a certain height and let the branching form at a lower height from there. Because again, our storage is just a concern and the, the height of the storage. So anyway, guys, I wanna thank everybody here for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, Please subscribe, like the video, share it with somebody you know who's growing figs, and also check out our listings on FigBid. Uh, all that's in the description, and we will catch you all soon. We're gonna be eating lots of main crop very soon. Again, see you, see you guys for tomorrow's video. Take care, everyone.